Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new in here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Gigi Ostala. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you so much for sticking around with your girl. I think it's appropriate to apologize for the long break in this series, but I can promise you that that couldn't be helped. Now that that is out of the way, let's get to the order of the day. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the second part of the first series I already started on this channel. And if this is the first time you're stumbling on this video, then you're on the right channel because I will be discussing how to apply for a bachelor's program at the Warsaw University of Technology. But just in case you haven't seen the first video that I made, I'm going to link it somewhere in this video just so that you can catch up on the video or maybe you are looking to apply for a master's program then that would definitely be the video to watch but regardless you would also want to still reference that video because a lot of information that i would probably not repeat in this video just not to sound like a broken record would be in that video so do well to check out that video in today's video, I'm going to be going through the details of how to apply for a bachelor's program at the Warsaw University of Technology. And I'll also be sharing a little sneak peek or a little ideas from people who have previously applied for bachelor's programs at the Warsaw University of Technology. If this looks like something that you're looking for, then by all means, keep watching. I previously mentioned that bachelor's programs are referred to as first cycle programs. So please keep it in mind during the application process. You may see them referring to bachelor's program as first cycle program. For bachelor's program offered in English at the Warsaw University of Technology, there are 12 courses and 9 faculties. The programs that are offered in English for bachelor's program include architecture, electric and hybrid vehicles engineering, environmental engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, computer science with the option to specialize in computer systems and networks or telecommunications computer science and information systems, mechatronics with options to specialize in phototronic engineering or mechatronics device and systems, aerospace engineering and power engineering. The number of semesters per course depends on the program that you are choosing and this usually ranges from three and a half years to four years. All the courses for bachelor's program at the Warsaw University of Technology starts in October. So the timeline for application is in May, June. For details on how the May June application timeline works, please refer to my first video where I made an extensive explanation as to how to target the timelines for the application. Now moving on to the steps for the application for bachelor's program. There are five main steps to application for bachelor's program. The first step is to create an online application with your entry document by clicking on this link. It simply takes you to this portal where you'll be able to create an online application. Currently, there is no application ongoing, which is why this page is dormant and you will not be able to create an application. But like I previously mentioned, if your program is starting in October, then it means that this portal will be open around May and that is when you will be able to create an online application. Your entry document will include your high school leaving certificate in English or Polish language, transcript of results, a passport or national ID depending on if you are a foreign student or an EU candidate, proof of payment of 85 Polish zloty which is non-refundable and one picture. The second step would be to complete the placement test. Placement test is simply a basic test to test your knowledge of English and mathematics and is usually completed online. It's usually conducted to determine which study route is most suitable for you based on your high school background. And depending on the results that you have from the placement test, you either be moved to the regular study program or the one year foundation program. The main difference between the regular study program and the foundation year program is that for the regular study program, you are admitted directly into first year of bachelor's studies without taking or without having to take any prerequisite courses. However, for the foundation year program, it's a one year preparatory course to the first degree studies and it's usually aimed at preparing candidates that do not meet all the requirements to start their studies at the Warsaw University of Technology so that you're better fitted for your bachelor's program. And the cost of this program is a total of 16,000 Polish Zloty. So now let's go back to the placement test. For the placement test, like I previously mentioned, it's the basic English and mathematics examination. 
and you have one week from the date when the link is sent to you to complete the test. It's okay for you to split the test into two days so you can take English on the first day and mathematics on the second day. Just make sure to meet up with the one week deadline. Each of these tests takes about 90 minutes to complete and you have 20 questions for the math section. But you also have an opportunity of seeing five sample questions prior to the start of the math questions. For the English test, they are simply going to test you on grammar and vocabulary. Both tests are multi-choice questions and only one answer is correct. From previous conversations that I have had with bachelor students who also had to do this test, the test is quite simple, but you still need to prepare for it. For more information about the math topics that are usually set in the math examinations, please check the link in the description box. The third step is to wait for the decision of the faculty and usually there are two main things that can happen. It's either you get an acceptance or you get a rejection. If you get a rejection, it means that your application will be moved to the next program or to the next faculty based on your priority. On the other hand, if you get an acceptance, there are two main things that can happen. Either you get a conditional acceptance letter, which indicates that you are going through the regular study route, or you get an acceptance to the foundation year, which means you need to take one year of the foundation year program. Now let's assume that you've been accepted either to do the regular study route or to do the foundation year program. This will lead us to the fourth step, which is based on the decision of the faculty. If in the instance that you've been accepted or recommended for the foundation year program, then you need to contact the foundation year office at the email foundation.sjo at pw.edu.pl. And at this point, you need to submit the proof of English proficiency and proof of tuition fee. After you've completed the one year foundation program, you can then continue the admission process for regular study program. If on the other hand, you've received a conditional acceptance, which means that you've met all the requirements for the program that you've chosen at the Warsaw University of Technology, then you'll be required to upload your admissions documents, which are four things. One, authenticated or legalized high school living certificate. This is actually a document that you receive from the Federal Ministry of Education that sort of authenticates your high school living certificate. Two, an eligibility statement. An eligibility statement is a document that simply says that whatever studies that you've had in your home country is sufficient for the program that you want to do. The third thing is a proof of English proficiency, which is a document that attests to your knowledge of English language. And the fourth thing is a proof of payment of tuition fee for at least one semester. I've spoken extensively about these admission documents, so please refer to my previous video to get more information about these documents. If at all there's any missing documents, you'll be required to upload the additional document using the additional documents link. It takes up to about one week for the verification of your documents to be completed by the International Students Office. And with a positive decision, you will receive a visa letter, which signifies a final acceptance letter that indicates that you've completed all the application procedure. Now, the fifth step will be the arrival and registration. And here in this step, it would only require you to do a physical verification of the documents that you submitted online to the International Student's Office. At this point, you are now a bona fide student of the Warsaw University of Technology and ready to start your studies. And that's all I have for you today. If there are any unique questions that you will have in terms of the application process, or you just want to ask me something peculiar to you, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram DMs. I always respond to Instagram messages, or you can send me an email if you prefer that form of communication. I'm always open to responding to emails. P.S. though, email takes me a while to respond to. So in case you have delayed responses, it's not because I'm ignoring them, it's because I probably also have like other several emails from different people asking different questions so if you want a faster response then go on to follow me on my instagram and send me a dm and i'll be happy to respond to your um, messages or your inquiries also guys if you got value from this video of course you got value from this video please please like this video share share to someone who is currently looking to apply to the Warsaw university of technology or just simply looking for a school in europe to apply to also subscribe to my channel, um, comment on any other places or any questions or things that you'd want me to film about and I'll do well to put it in my to-do list. I'll leave you as always. Remember where you're coming from, remember where you are and remember where you're going to. Until the next series, it's all sheets of love.